Hello gang, and how are you tonight? And welcome to Shay Show Real Talk, where real talk is real. I'm just going to talk about everything like I always do. Whatever comes to my mind, I'm just going to talk about it. Make no apologies for that. Now, I don't normally get into religion. I'm shooting religion and politics. There's two things I stay away from. Uh, especially on my periscopes and stuff like that. But sometimes I, I have to make a reference to something to make my point to get to the real talk. And that's kind of like what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to kind of like combine the two real quick and get out of it. And I'm going to get into a long debate about no political shit. I ain't going to do it because somebody's going to come in here and say that. Yeah, and then they're going to start wanting to fucking debate and, and start talking about something. When I said we're going to leave it alone from the beginning, it's not even about the politics is about the real talk. So you have to really pay attention. Really pay attention. I'm going to say this. I'm with Trump. Meaning, I believe there was no collusion with the Russians. None. None. You hear what I said? None. Why Why you say that, Shay? Why? Really? What's your thoughts? Well... There's always a certain mindset of people. There's always different mindsets of people in the world. We know that. But there's a, a certain mindset of people who thought a certain way. Way before Trump came along. Way before Trump came along. They just thought a certain way. What well, other people didn't think their way was rational thinking. But to that certain group, they just thought a certain way. No matter what. No matter if somebody thought they was wrong or not, they just thought a certain way. No matter how crazy certain ideals might sound, they just thought a certain way. There's nothing wrong with that. And here comes Trump. So Trump started talking the way he talked and doing the things that he do. It's a perfect marriage. Because now the people who are thought alike said, hey... That guy thinks like us. That's our man. So, my whole thing is, I hope that made sense. My whole thing is this. That mindset of folks always been there. A long time, just festering, just and just growing, and just, wait, just waiting for that time to come out where somebody's going to come and say, I think like you. And that's it. So it has no nothing to do with collusion. It has just everything to do with with the mindset. And I'm not talking about people who support, support Trump. <clears throat> I'm just just I'm just keeping it real. Just it's, it's a certain mindset of people all over. I mean, look at the, look in the black neighborhoods. Definitely a a, 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 a mindset there. It's just like, whew, I don't understand that shit. I mean, anytime. <clears throat> You can go around and talk about this shit before. And you can just start killing people just because. Just fucking because. And the because has no fucking reason. Just because. That is the most, the most dangerous mindset ever. Ever. And when you got that type of mindset that thinks this way. And you got the other mindset on the other side who thinks a total opposite way. So guess what? The people who got that real bad mindset who's killing each other. Well, the other mindset says, that's what we want you to do. Keep doing it. No problem. <coughs> In another video. So it all comes down to just a person's mindset. Somebody gonna say, Shane, what's that damn blue light? Why are you going? What, what is that? I told um, Nicole when she when she was brought it to my attention. I said, Nicole, you know me. I just like messing with people. I'm trying to see if people actually listening to me or are they getting thrown off because there's a light that's moving around. So if this light is throwing you off, that means you're, losing, you're missing a very important part of the message. So don't worry about the light. 
That's why I took you into the darkness. Jesus Christ. Hold on. You know, I'm walking around doing my thing. Had to get some water. Because I'm certainly dry. Let's see what's happening out in the backyard real quick before we can start talking again. Now, normally, it's a lot of deer out here. Be just sitting in the backyard, just chilling and sleeping, whatever they're doing. But I don't see them. They're they, they, they back there in the woods now. Me going to say, how the hell they do that shit? It's cold in the motherfucker out here. They ain't got no, they can't go inside and turn the heater on. None of that shit. They just got to be subjected to the cold 24 7. And they can't talk. They can't tell you that they fucking cold. Oh my God, it must be terrible being a fucking animal. Oh, serious. That's, I'm sorry. That's another Shay Show Girl talk. But let me say this while it's on my mind. Because I'm all over the place. And that's, makes my best real talks actually when I'm just because I touch on so much different shit that might be touching you something that you might be experiencing at this time you maybe you just need to hear that last message you know because believe me I'm, I'm always bringing a message I am and I'm, I'm gonna say this and this is actually a message to people and to certain people that at some point they'll they'll listen to this and I don't have to say their names and they'll know who they are and they'll know who they are because the Shay Show is expanding um, like somebody said Shay Show Radio coast to coast so that means at some point you're going to hear this shit whether you in California uh, or just Jersey or Chicago you're going to hear the Shay Show message Wherever you are. I'm like this. Don't shit on somebody who has done for you. I know people said, you know, I just don't worry about it no more. I just move on. I don't think they really think about that shit. And I get it. But you can't help let it come to your mind from time to time because you know what you human it's always easy to say oh no fuck that shit don't long listen to that shit blah 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 yeah you do everybody does even me we all listen to shit sometimes but we still move on we still move on so when people say well I wouldn't make worry about that Shay and blah 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 I'm not worried about that I'm just delivering a message I learned how to move on believe me I learned how to move on but sometimes you have to say certain things to make some people realize what you're saying because this internet is a powerful thing and what I'm saying right now is going to get back to the appropriate person and I know that and they're going to know who they are like I said before you know you don't never want to shit on somebody who has done for you when you didn't have anybody else that done for you and been there in your corner and been there in your corner to the time you got grown, to the time you graduated high school. You know that one person that's always been there for you. Or actually two. That's always been there for you. And at some point, your mind was poisoned. Parents have a way of poisoning their kid's mind. And the kid can know that this is a person who actually done something for them, the person who actually raised them, they know that already. But And that parent actually never done shit, nothing, but give this kid fucking grief and never did nothing for this kid. But when this kid gets grown, that's when these parents who didn't do shit, who wasn't fucking there, stick their chest out and say, that's my daughter, that's my son. But where were you? When it was having problems, when it was eight years old, nine years old, ten years old, high school, and, and wanted to go to certain events, and had to go to their grandparents to get whatever it is they needed, all the way through, and that person is old enough to know that right now, so I don't blame the parents anymore 
at that point because we know they were failures. We know that. I blame the person that was raised, the person who actually knew and who was there for them. I blame them because guess what? Your mind should no longer be poisoned. This is the time you're supposed to wake up. I'm grown now. I'm making my own decisions. I truly know what's right and what's wrong. And what I'm doing is wrong. And sometimes people can know they're wrong about something in situations like this, but they're so ashamed to break down and, and say, I'm sorry. I fucked up. They let it go too long. You don't hear from that person in a week, a month, a year, four years. And it just gets worse at this point because now you really can't go back. Because you figure like if you made it into the fourth year without saying shit to this person, you don't really pipe, wipe this person out of your life already. You wipe that person out of your life. The person that has always been there for you from day one from the time you was fucking born and watch you make your first fucking steps and that's what it comes down to people you have to be careful with who's in your circle there are so many wolves and sheep's clothing in your circle even in your inner family, and what I'm talking about, even in the closeness of your family, you know it's something not right there with that person. You know it. You know it. So all I'm saying is, before you get your heart too deep inside, recognize who that person is. Recognize the different signs as they grow older and they get older and their parents actually didn't do nothing. Just see, watch, watch and see when they start gravitating towards that person that wasn't there because they got older now and that person who never did shit is like got the chest all stuck out now that's that's my daughter that's my son next thing you know that person starts a new life with the person who should have been there from the very fucking beginning but they start a new life and they put the old life behind them they put behind the people that got them to where they were. And they forgot where they came from. That's sad. That's sad. It truly is. Hmm. But you know what? Life goes on. And at the end of the day, At the very end of the day, as you get older, sick, or it's just your fucking time, you go along. Nobody's going with you. Nobody volunteering to go with you. That's a damn show. You go along. So realize that even though you're not, the, you got to be alone in your life when you die, because that's what it is. Try not to be alone too much when you're in, in your living days. Don't don't waste time no more on a lot of unnecessary burdens that you shouldn't be shouldering in the first fucking place. It's just, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not. Mm -mm. it's really not worth it so again just let let this let it be about you it's okay to help people and be there for people i am all the fucking time but at the same time you you only got one heart and you got to fucking protect it you got to know who you can let close to your heart and who you can't you have to know you have to know how to pat lock your heart when you need to you, there's warning signs this, and a lot of us ignore the warning signs and we don't pat like our hearts and then we get fucked. You know, I'm not saying you got to be cold, but just know how to protect your heart. 
Sometimes it can be the closest fucking people around you that can will deceive you. The closest fucking people that you would never think in a million fucking years. You would, that person would never deceive you. You can bet your life on that person. That's the person that's going to fuck you most of the time. I hate to say that. It's real. No, oh, shade. I got some real good friends. And Pookie, my friend, and I know people would never do no shit like that. I feel what you're saying, but not my Pookie. Mm -mm. Yes. It's possible that your Pookie could be that one. Could be that one. The shit on you. So, I say all the time, be careful of the folks you have around you and the people that you call fucking friends. Like my mama used to say, everybody ain't your friend. And that's so true. Everybody is not your friend. Sometimes people are around you for a reason. And you got to wonder sometimes what that reason is. Why is that person around you? For and what reason? Everybody got a fucking reason to be around somebody. Everybody got a reason. Everybody got a fucking reason. It could be a good reason. It could be a bad reason. But everybody got a reason for being around somebody. And you just have to be extra careful when you, when you got people to come around you. Especially somebody that you just meet for the first time and y'all kind of click and y'all talking from time to time, but you really don't know nothing about this person's background. You could be actually talking to a fucking serial killer and not even fucking know it. And not even fucking know it. And then y'all at each other's house drinking beer and shit, not knowing that he was a fucking axe murderer. Because you don't know. You have to be careful with people. I mean, it takes a lot to learn about people. You just can't learn somebody over one night. Some people think they can, but it's just people are complicated. We are. We are the most complicated thing out there. We are fucking complicated. That's where these fucking tech, high tech machines come from, from complicated people. It takes a complicated person to put something complicated together. <laughs> you know what? Let me stop because I'm starting to get too deep. And you know I can go there. I mean, I can cut you. I can cut you at the knees with some with some conversation. I'm the kind of guy you want to hang around at a party, or at a barbecue, or a fucking picnic. I am the one. If there's something going on and it's it's, it's just boring or whatever, believe me, believe me, we'll have a we'll have a good time with some crazy conversation. Because sometimes you just you just have to do that sometimes. And you can chop it up with real folk. Then you can, uh, then at that point, you can see what somebody is all about. Like me, I'm 100% real. If you ever around me, ever around me, this is the way I am. 24 freaking 7. This is, this is me. And anybody who actually met me, who came here, who flew here by horseback, by vulture, however the hell you got here. And you sat m and met me. Everybody would say he is the same way he is on YouTube. Ain't no, ain't nothing different about that guy. They'll tell you that because this is what I do. I am just who I am. I just can't pretend to be nobody else. I just, I just can't. I just can't. But I keep it real. You know, like when Rosette got here that one time. First time Rosette got here. She was a, a really inquisitive person. You can tell she was like, she wanted to know this and she wanted to know that. She had a fucking question for every freaking thing, which is good. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing from the time me and Dave picked her up from the airport. And we got, and she was just so bubbly and she was talking a certain way. I said, I said, she's pretty cool. I think kind of crazy too, but she's pretty cool, right? I'm I'm learning it really quick. We riding around, and so <laughs> we was riding to a, um, a house out in Oak Park. I was getting ready to rent a house out in Oak Park for like fourteen hundred bucks, and I had to meet the owner, which is actually a Shay Show fan, Susan. And we went over there to look at the house. She told me about her son had his house, and she told him about me and about management. 
And I came over there and I actually met Susan for the first time. Shay Show follower, Shay Show fan. And Rosette just happened to be with me because she had just got out the plane. We picked her up. She came in from San Francisco, California, somewhere in California. We was riding around. She said, oh, these are really nice colors in this house. The house has so many different fucking colors. Real nice house. But every room was like a, a time warp or something. You know, and it was so funny because it was real shit going on at the time. I mean, it's real shit. You know, and Rosa, she would tell you, I mean, it was funny, and I, and I talked to her about it after the fact. It was like, she said, oh, this is really nice. This is your son's house? Mm -hmm. Oh, he got some, it's some beautiful colors. I mean, the colors in this room, and you got the colors in this room. To me, it was just a time warp to me. But, I mean, it was nice because I'm not into every room being a different color. I'm just, that's, that doesn't work for me. Some people like that. I just personally don't like that. And so, Rosette said, she said, oh, is your son gay? And she said, no, my son ain't gay. Why you say that? She said, because all the nice, pretty colors all over the place. And I'm like, I said, you associate, I said, you associate colors for fucking being gay? Fuck wrong with you, right? <laughs> and she said, no, I'm just saying. And she said, oh, no, 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 I'm just saying. Like, That's crazy. I just, I just seen colors in a, in a room. I just seen that to me, I just seen a time warp. I didn't, I didn't see gay. I just, not at all. I mean, now that you even say it, I still don't even fucking see it. But it was so funny because she was so real. She's a real person. She's a real person. And she know I appreciate it. She know that I talk a lot of shit. Cash shit. Oh, let me tell you. We was riding down the street. And I showed her this, this block that was like, just like decimated. And vacant houses and, and vultures flying around and, you know, and woods going through through the grass and, and snakes hanging from trees and shit. I mean, just that kind of block, right? And she said, oh, let me see that house right there, Shay. I said, oh, okay. So I pull over so she can look at the house. I'm not knowing that she's going to leave out the fucking car. She leaves out the car. And we and before me and they can like look at each other in a, in like amazement, she ran up on the porch in this vacant house, and all the windows was out. And she climbed. You hear what I'm saying? She climbed right through the fucking window and went in. And I said, "Oh my God, Dave, did you see that?" He said, hell no. I said, Rosette, come on out of there. Fuck wrong with you. Get out of there. We didn't even get out the car. And look at the going. We didn't get out. We I I wasn't thinking about getting out because it was two guys across the street leaning across the car and they're looking at us. And I seen one had a gun on his side. This is, you know, you can open carry here. So I don't know what was going on. They were looking all real hard, and I see the gun, and Rosette done ran to a fucking empty house, and me and Dave in the fucking van like, what the fuck? All this shit, all this what the fuck was going on at one fucking time, and I just said, you know what? I got to do something. So I jumped out of the car, and I ran up on the porch and told the guy, hey, man, it's all right. I said, it's okay, man. We, we're here for the bank. I'm lying like a motherfucker. I said, man, we're here for the bank. He said, oh, oh I haven't seen what's going on, man. I said, yeah, man, we're just here for the bank. It's just, you see the side of my car? It's for, for bank-owned properties. That's what we just trying to see what's going on. I said, oh, that's, Rosette, fuck, hey, get out of there. She's all in the back and shit. I heard her voice say, what, Shay? It's really different in here. I said, you better get your ass out here. Where the hell you think you are? And so she said, everything okay? Then she climbed back through the fucking window. And she said, listen, we got back in the band. No guy was looking at us all funny and shit. So we pulled off. I said, listen, don't ever do that shit again. But then I said, don't ever do that shit again. You here with me. The last thing I need is somebody to say some, somebody came hanging out with Shay and they got killed and shit. I don't need that shit. So let me be the fucking guy. I know where we are. I know what to do and what not to do. So follow my lead. I'm not going to chase you through no more abandoned houses. So, uh, are we clear? She said, all right, Shay. Okay, I'm just saying. But it was really different in there. I said, 
you heard what I just said. <laughs> and it was like, well, I was just, I could, I could name so many different situations with so many different people who come here and I got a story. I have a story about each and every person who actually came here. And they're all good stories, stories that we can reflect on and look back on as friends over the years. People can realize this stuff. Rosetta, listen to this another eight years from now and just say, damn, you know, that was, that. I did have a good time there. You know, and when people come here, they actually do have a, a really good time. I mean, they really do. And I mean, I really appreciate it. I do. We were at a, um, a collision, not a collision, I'm sorry. I had my car was in the shop and I was, my van was in the shop and I was going to Sean and took my car down to the shop. That's the video where they broke into the back wall. The Pookie Ray Ray was caught on a camera and they're trying to snatch the fucking TV off the fucking wall and then the fucking um, place that had nothing but fucking twos. Nothing but twos and they're sitting there trying to snatch the goddamn TV off the wall. And they eventually got snatched it off the wall. I said, well, damn, you get, you stand around a whole bunch of fucking twos. If you had enough guard to break in through the cinder block and come through the fucking hole, and you have enough common sense to say, Let me, let's grab a tool and just take this thing and take it down. All right. Oh, my God, that fucking mindset. So we went over there to this shop, right? So the neighborhood is not that great over there. And I know one block down, there's a drug house. It's on the corner. And it'd be all kind of pookies and ray rays on this porch. Sitting there smoking weed. Just doing nothing. That's what they do. I stay away from there when I'm on that. I stay away from that corner. And so Rosette gets out. I said, now nah, don't you go nowhere. Just, oh, yeah. Okay. And soon as I'm sitting here talking to Sean, we sitting there just kicking it and chilling. It's nice outside. So I turns around. And Rosette is gone. I said, where the fuck she go? So I'm thinking she went inside to go to the restroom. So I didn't think nothing about it. So another five minutes go by. I said, that girl must got a bladder problem or something. And I went in there and said, Rosette, you all right in there? She didn't answer. I come back out. I said, now I'm getting worried. I said, God damn it, she done probably done wandered off some rap down there. There she go. So I'm walking down towards the corner where the dope house is, where the drug boys, everybody hanging out. And when I get to the damn corner, who do I see? Rosette, over there taking selfie with the drug boys. I said, oh, my freaking God. Oh, hell no. And it's, she you know, had like... Hey, how you doing? And, you know, just taking pictures and shit. They all taking pictures with her. Rose, that's a really good looking woman, right? I said, what the fuck? You can tell she, you can tell she's not from the hood. She is not from the hood. You can, she a valley girl. She's straight up valley girl. So those guys think they're looking at fucking Kim Kardashian or something. So they're not used to that. You know, not in the hood, not from this hood. No way. You gonna get Shaquaqua and, and Shabubala. That's who you're going to get in this fucking over hood. You're not going to get a Rosette. And so I said, get over here. I need get over, Rosette. Get over here. The car is ready. Let's go. She said, hold on. She just come on. They made these guys. They're really nice. I said, hey, the car is ready. Just, they, I, I know them already. Cause I know them. Cause come on here. Just Because I'm trying to really coast. I'm not trying to take my ass over there. I'm trying to say, you better get your ass over here. I didn't want to just yell out and say, uh, excuse me. I think you might be in fucking danger. I didn't want to do that. I'm like... I want you to get, you know, like, come on. If I say come on, God damn it, I mean come on. So she said, okay, bye. Y'all was, was really nice. Thank y'all. Blah, blah, blah. I said, oh, my God. So she come over and we started walking back towards the shop. I said, what did I tell you about walking off? Oh, shit, I just walked down here. They was really nice. I said, that's a fucking drug house. Oh, no, no, no. But they was really nice. They were, what am I selling any drugs? I was out there. I was taking pictures with them. I said, they don't know who the fuck you are. Why would they sell some drugs in front of you or doing something like that? They don't know who you are. You, you're not even from. You don't even look like you're from here. They know what they're doing. You just, you just don't. Don't do that again, honey. Don't do that because you, 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 you're making me nervous. You're making me really nervous. And just It's just like I got to try to protect a piece of gold before that makes certain you get back to the airport all, all right in one piece. And let me tell you, Oh, my God. 
when we, we got back on 94 going west to Metro Airport. And now sitting here thanking the Lord. Lord, thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm taking the woman back to the, to, to the airport in one piece without no problem. Thank you, Lord. Oh, oh my God. It was just like, I couldn't believe it was like too good to be true. I said, let, let me cross my finger. I could turn around and have, have a flat, have to turn around and go back to Detroit for something. Mm -mm. I didn't say nothing but thank you. And when she, and I pulled up in front of the, uh, the, the door to let her out. You know how you let people out and they take their time and here, give me a hug, blah, blah, blah. Here, get the hell out of here. Here, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to pull off. Her feet were still hanging out and shit. I said, hey, I'm trying to pull off and shit. Uh -uh, I got her back nicely and safely. And I just like, whew. oh my God. I mean, when I got back on I-94 going back east, not by myself. I didn't have no more pressures on me no more. None. But no, Rosette is a really, really good person. So she might be down here for the Shea Show Bash Week. It's, it's a gala. That's what it is. We're just a meet and greet. And everybody's just going to have a good time. And, and eat and just hang out. That's it. And I'm saying that because I talked to quite a few persons who are Jehovah Witness who really, really, really like to come. But they called me and said, Shay, you know, I'm a Jehovah Witness. You know, we don't celebrate birthdays. And I said, you know, I respect that. But don't you eat? Huh? Don't you eat? You eat every day. Mm hmm You talk every day to some somebody, right? Like we were talking right now, right? Yeah. Well that's all it is. A lot of friends getting together. We're gonna talk. We're gonna eat. We're gonna just have a good time. We're not celebrating nothing. We're celebrating life. That's all we're doing. We're celebrating life. Now, I understand if you can't do that for birthdays. I get it. I do. But one thing you must celebrate is life. You can't deny that. You gotta celebrate that. So don't tell me that you you can't celebrate one thing and you gotta celebrate something else. The word celebrate is still the same. Celebrate didn't change. Celebrate it and change it's still the same, pronounced the same way, and spelled the same way. I'm not trying to knock nobody. I get it, but all I'm trying to do is just celebrate in life. So if you still want to come down, we're not caught in the party because you don't celebrate that. But come on down and celebrate life with some friends. This is Shay from the Chase Show, and thank you for tuning in. And also, Miss Brown, I know that you'll be listening to me sometime when you're going to work. So drive safely. Make certain your seatbelt is on. And ride, arrive there safely. So you can look. I can look down in the comments from time to time and say, Shay, I just got to work. I'm good. Thanks. All right. Shay from Shay Show. And we'll see you at the next location.